Hey, what's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday. Hope you've been having a great week so far. Got 11 games on this NHL slate for today. Going to be super packed, super busy, and should be a lot of fun. Before I get started, go ahead, like, and subscribe, support the channel. And just a quick side note, I will be doing a live stream Saturday morning, 1030 Eastern. So stay tuned for that. You know, if you haven't been on my live streams, I'll be building parlays. Going over all the matchups, getting you know, getting everyone's picks right. Let's and hopefully we can all have a great day. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys do hop in there. That'd be super cool. And quick side note: Friday nights when I'm filming for the Saturdays games, I won't be doing parlay videos anymore for the Saturday games, just because I'm going to be building the parlays on Saturday, and uh, I'll be doing that live. So it's just a lot easier for me to at least take a day off of doing the parlays during friday night so if you're wondering where the party videos are tune into the live stream and i'll be doing them live and if you don't catch live stream you can uh, watch it after i've already finished it after it's been uploaded and um catch the parlays there which will usually be towards the end of the the stream so um so yeah hopefully you guys hop in the live stream tomorrow and we're gonna get started with these 11 matchups here Super excited. A lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of stuff to cover here. We're going to try to get through it really quick. First matchup, Detroit Red Wings versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Detroit 12-21-5. Tampa Bay 25-9-2. Tampa opening up as, you know, massive favorites at minus 400, which is insane, with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Detroit, 4-6 and six in their last 10. Tampa 6-4 and four in their last 10. You know, Detroit 0-7 on the road right now. 2-18 against Tampa Bay. Kind of crazy. Tampa 10-0 at home against Detroit. You know, minus 400 is a massive number here. Going to roll with Tampa. I mean, the numbers don't lie. This should be a... You know, I love Tampa here. But I'll if you want to put a little crazy, throw a couple bucks on Detroit. I don't hate that play either. I might do that myself. Just if, if there is a possible upset, you know, I could get a little bit of a return there. But um, definitely roll with Tampa. Tampa's obviously going to do a parlay. I mean, they just have to. You can't really bet them straight up. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to take the over 5.5 as well. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Boston Bruins. Pittsburgh 24-11-2. Boston 18-10-5. Boston opening up as favorites at minus 120. Pit plus 100 with the over under at five and a half. Last 10 games for Pitt, seven and three in their last 10. Boston, four and six in their last 10. Um, yeah, these two teams, you know, on their back to back here, and uh, you know, Pitt picking up the first win 4 1 as underdogs at plus 105. Their line's basically the same here. Um, you know, pit five and zero in their last five. They are just one in ten on the road against Boston. Kind of concerning. Boston ten and one at home against Pitt here. Um, tough matchup. I do like Pitt. I, I mean, I like Pitt, the better team here. On the back to back, though. Um, you know, I still I still like Pitt plus a hundred. I don't hate the back to back with Boston at home. I, I know the record. I know Pitt horrible record on the road here against boston i just like pit with the two game sweep here I, I just you know i feel good vibes about pit i'm gonna take pit plus 100 at great value and uh, we're gonna go with the under five and a half next matchup we have the chicago blackhawks versus the nashville predators chicago 17 16 and 5 nashville 19 18 and 1 Nashville opening up as favorites at minus 125. Chicago plus 105 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Chicago, 3-7 in their last 10. Nashville 8-2 in their last 10. You know, Chicago 1-5 on the road. 1-5 in their last six meetings with Nashville. You know, not too much success with Nashville here. Nashville 5-1 at home against Chicago. You know, six and one in their last seven. So starting to turn things around here for Nashville. I like Nashville in this spot at minus 125. And, um, you know, I'm going to take the under five and a half as well. Next matchup, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Florida Panthers. Columbus 14, 16, and eight. Florida 
24, 9, and 4. Florida opening up as favorites at minus 150. Columbus plus 130 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Columbus, 4 and 6 in their last 10. Florida, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Columbus, you know, 1 and 5 in their last 6. They are 10 and 4 in their last 14 meetings with Florida. So, you know, pretty good success against Florida here. You know, Florida, 4 and 1 in their last 5. They are 5 and 1 at home right now. Um, you know, Florida coming off, you know, a nice little four game win streak for Florida here. Columbus not playing too hot here. I love Florida in this matchup at minus 150. I like them to get the job done here, and I'm going to take the under five and a half as well. Next matchup, we have the Dallas Stars versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Dallas 12, 10, and, or 12, 12, and 10. Carolina 24, 8, and 3. Carolina opening up as favorites at minus 155 with the over under at five and a half. Last 10 games for Dallas, three and seven in their last 10. Carolina six and four in their last 10. Dallas, you know, one and four on the road against Carolina. They are just six and 14 in their last 20 on the season. Not too hot right here. Carolina four and one in their last five, 11 and four at home right now. Um, Love Carolina in this spot, and um, you know, I'm going to take the over 5.5 in this matchup. Next matchup, we have the New York Rangers versus the Buffalo Sabres. New York 17-15-4, Buffalo 7-23-6. Rangers opening up as favorites at minus 250, Buffalo plus 210, with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for the Rangers, 6-4 in their last 10, Buffalo one and nine in their last 10. Buffalo, you know, five and two in their last seven. I'm sorry, the Rangers, five and two in their last seven. Four and one in their last five meetings with Buffalo here. Um, you know, Buffalo, I mean, God, this Buffalo, one and 19 in their last 20. One and 12 at home. You know, they were able to sneak that win. They had a great win against Philly, which was their only win in a long time but um you know on the back-to-back with the rangers here losing three to two in the last matchup just no confidence on buffalo here um taking the rangers minus 250 and i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the under five and a half you know i don't mind throwing buffalo and maybe detroit in a little parlay throw a dollar or two on there if there's some crazy upsets that happen you know but that's about as far as i go with buffalo Next matchup, we have the Ottawa Senators first the Montreal Canadiens. Ottawa 12-21-4. Montreal 16-8-9. Montreal opening up as favorites at minus 230 with the over-under at 6. Last 10 games for Ottawa, 3-7 in their last 10. Montreal 5-5 five five in their last 10. You know, Montreal just won the last matchup 4-1. Um... You know, Ottawa three and seven in their last uh you know, three and seven in their last ten. Ottawa one and seven on the road right now. Six and four against Montreal in their last twenty meetings. Uh, you know, Montreal you know, the unders hit nine of their last ten games um against Ottawa. And you know, Montreal four and two in their last six games at home. Love the under here at six and um I'm going to take the better team in Montreal. Not super excited about this matchup, but, you know, I'm going to take the favorites with Montreal. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Flyers versus the New York, the New York Islanders. Philly 17-14-4. New York 23-10-4. New York opening up as favorites at minus 170 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Philly. 4-6 and six in their last 10. New York 6-4 and four in their last 10. You know, Philly two and five in their last seven games. Um, you know, they are just five and ten in their last fifteen games, so not playing too well this little stretch they're on. The Islanders thirteen and four in their last seventeen, eight and one in their last nine at home here. Um Yeah, you know, I'm taking the range or I'm taking the Islanders against, you know, kind of a struggling Philly team here right now. Um yeah, I'm going to take the Islanders. I'm going to take the under five and a half as well. 
Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Wild versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Minnesota 22-11-2, Vegas 24-9-2. Vegas opening up as favorites at minus 150. Minnesota plus 130 with the over-under at 5.5. Last 10 games for Vegas, or for Minnesota, 6-4 in their last 10. Vegas 6 and 4 in their last 10 as well. You know, these two teams on their, you know, double header here with um you know, with Minnesota picking up, you know, the upset win as underdogs over Vegas 3 to 2 here. Uh Minnesota, you know, 9 and 4 in their last 13 games against Vegas. Vegas 14 and 6 in their last 20. You know, coming off the loss here as favorites to Minnesota. I love Vegas to bounce back here on the doubleheader. I like Vegas at minus 150, and I like the under five and a half. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Blues versus the Colorado Avalanche. St. Louis 16, 13, and 6. Colorado 23, 8, and 4. Um, Colorado, you know, big favorites at minus 230 with the over-under at five and a half. Last 10 games for Colorado. They are 8-2 and two in their last 10. St. Louis 2-8 and eight in their last 10. These two teams on a doubleheader. As I'm filming this, you know, Colorado's up 3-1 to one against St. Louis. Um, kind of regardless of the outcome here, you know, rolling with Colorado, taking the better team here. And, um, you know, I like, I like the under 5.5 as well. Next matchup, we have the San Jose Sharks versus the Los Angeles Kings. San Jose 15-16-4. Los Angeles 14, 14, and 6. LA opening up as favorites at minus 125. San Jose plus 105 with the over under at 5.5. Last 10 games for San Jose, 4 and 6 in their last 10. LA 4 and 6 in their last 10 as well. These two teams on a doubleheader right now. You know, as I'm filming, San Jose up 1 0. You know, San Jose has the slight head-to-head edge with, you know, 6-2-2 two two in those head-to-head meetings. I like the value with San Jose. You know, both teams pretty much the same record. Give me the value with San Jose plus 105. I picked them, you know, I picked them in the first matchup anyway. So I'm going to take San Jose plus 105. I'm going to go with the under 5.5 as well. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to check out my live stream Saturday morning, 10.30 Eastern. You'll get my parlays there. I'll go over all the games. It'll be super cool. So come hang out. Good luck with your picks on Saturday, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Have a good one.